Hello, hello, hello. Today we're going to discuss about the pet t test using our software. This that means the pet t test is mostly used to determine whether the mean difference between two sets of observation is zero. And the pet t test uh, under the pet t test, each subject or each entity. Well, that means, for example, if you if you collect your data from a person or from something, so you will measure. Uh, Again, that means you measure two times. That means before and after. This resulting in what in a pair of observation. And uh, uh, the PET test is mostly common on the case control studies or on the repeated uh, measure designs. For example, if you are interested in evaluating the effectiveness of the uh, R software training in the academic staffs or in the universities, so you have to use such type of um, pair test that means this approach helps us to consider uh, it helps us to measure the performance of the academic staff in the university before and after uh, completing the program then Finally, you will analyze their difference using the paired uh, sample uh, t-test. So that, in simple term, for example, you will you will ask academic staff their performance regarding to our software. Then you will measure their performance by giving some statistical uh, concepts, for example, t-test uh, or some ANOVA or chi-square test and other things. And you will measure their performance, and uh, uh, then you will provide a training. And after providing of the training, again you will measure their what their performance regarding to giving a number of statistical uh, concepts or statistical analysis uh, practice so by this way you will measure their difference and finally you will analyze their difference so in order to say there is a significant difference before and after the training so you have to use a paired uh, t-test um, uh, uh, statistics. So uh, there are a number of assumptions in order to run the pair t test. The first one is there must the the dependent variable or the response variable must be continuous either in the form of interval or ratio. And the second one is the observation are what independent of one another. That means there is there is uh, you have to collect the observation from all academic staff randomly without what without any uh, repl replacement. And again. Um, the uh, the data or the dependent variable observation should be come from what from a normally distributed uh, population and finally the dependent variable or the response variable should not contain any possible outliers that affect um, your analysis so you have to uh, remove for example if you face outliers and you can check these outliers by using the box plot method then you can um, remove uh, these factors if it is uh, not significantly if it's highly it's highly affects your data but sometimes so removing of some observations due to bias so you have to also put this concept in your uh, consideration and in order to check the normality uh, of the dependent variable you can use the Shapiro uh, Wilkes test or alternatively you can use the histogram so by this way you can check um, the uh, normality uh, concept and again uh, in fact the independent uh, of that means observation are independent you can't measure without with any statistical thing but you have to uh, select or you have to uh, record your observation on the base of what um, free chance or randomly so should not be deliberate then let's uh, back to our uh, analysis in order to analysis the objective of this study is staff knowledge or staff performance regarding to our software before training so we will uh, have some 14 observation here so before which is indicate the academic staff in one of Ethiopian universities uh, and we'll measure we measured their uh, their performance in this way so there are uh, 14 observations and again after providing the our software training also, we can see, uh, we can uh, also measure this value. So, our objective is what? We provide a training, even we measured before the training, and we measured what after the training. Then, whether or not there is statistical significance difference, uh, we, we check whether or not there is statistical difference among um, before and uh, after uh, among the academic staff. Uh, by providing of what our software then let's again uh, uh, submit to submit this to our studio then if you want to change from this vector or from change 
uh, this from the numeric vector into a data form you can uh, you can use this simply that means you can assign any name that you want here then you have to use a function data dot frame then ict means which is a training that we provide for the academic staff and the replication is 14 and uh, we will uh, take before and after 14 observation then again the response variable or the dependent variable that we're going to measure is what their performance regarding to uh, our software regarding to some statistical analysis so uh, this this means it's the dependent variable uh, this means it is your um, your treatment in case before and after that means it is obvious it's providing a training so type this and submit to our studio then you, you will get easily in this uh, this data frame then after uh, if you want to compute the summary statistics that means displaying the um, number of sample displaying the mean and displaying the standard deviation you have to use a group by our data means we are using this uh, data frame then ict is what our uh, treatment so then summarize then also provide here the mean value in order to get the mean value of the performance and remove any missing values again the standard division of what the R software performance of the academic staff in one university then uh, and uh, this means remove any missing value so submit this you will get the summary uh, uh, statistics after is both of them contain 14 uh, observation that the mean value after is 396 and the uh, before is 265 then the standard deviation is 37.7 and 126 respectively for after and uh, before uh, training so for example if you want to visualize uh, using the ddbox plot you have to run this uh, first then you have to indicate the data name here then the x-axis is a treatment the treatment is a ict training maybe it's r software training then y uh, axis is uh, r software performance uh, of the academic staff then color is by the training what means before and after the training then you can uh, order means for example if you want after so you can substitute it here and if you want before become to the second so you can change this into second place and the uh, y lab means the y axis that means the r software performance of academic staff of some universities so you can mention in that way then the x lab means it is a uh, uh, ict training for academic staffs before and after so by this way you can uh, create the uh, box plot yes So all things are, uh, as you can see here, all things are displayed here in the uh, box plot. Then uh, finally, finally we will compute the uh, t-test, the pair t-test. Uh, so in order to do that, you have to use the t-test first. You can give any name that you want here. For example, t3, t9, whatever you want. Then you have to use the t-test function. Then you have to write before and after then paired is equal to true so paired is equal to true means you are using what the uh, paired t-test so uh, type this and submit to our studio and one thing over here the equality of variance among the two uh, groups is not working here so no need to worry or no need, no need to bother yourself about homogeneous variance so uh, we already feed this value to our software then finally send this to our studio then we will you will get the uh, t uh, test uh, the pair t test result so as you can see here 0 0.0164 uh, that means there is a statistically significant difference between uh, the two groups so providing uh, our software training for academic staffs is increase their what their analysis or their R software performance significantly so by this way you can uh, analyze the difference between before and after the training using the paired t-test so this is all about today's tutorial as usual if you have any question regarding the material don't forget to provide uh, don't uh, forget to provide uh, your comments suggestions questions in youtube comment box as well as my email thank you for watching have a nice time